Hey, hey, Blue Table fans. Uh, Jonah and I are playing. So here's Jonah. Hey, we are, how's it going? And uh, we are going to play some Dice Throne, this new game that we love in our family. I'll give you some close-ups, uh, and I'm also going to give you maybe some news and some and some thoughts. Okay. So, all right, two I love it. things. All right, guys, first off, you guys saw those trades I got in. And uh, I haven't put them up on the web store. I'm still expecting some other things. I'm going to do it all at once. But if you check the liner notes of the new trade video, you'll see a couple of numbers there. And <clears throat> what else? Oh, I accept books too, like uh, rule books, role playing books. Uh, I wouldn't want like fiction books. Cut me, please. I wouldn't want fiction books like novels and stuff, uh, but I would accept magazines, uh, but not White Dwarf, I don't think. I don't think those have really any value. But Old Dragon or Dungeon Magazines or things like that, I'd be interested in those. And, uh, but rule books for sure, like fantasy role-playing books, that's, uh, that's, that has actually a lot of potential. Okay. So get your army painted, guys. And, you know, what I was thinking is, <clears throat> excuse me, that if you have a hundred basic infantry, a hundred, and really most armies, that's the most you're going to need. And the normal rate for those is $10 a figure. It can be a little higher, it can be a little lower, depending on the complexity of it. So that's a thousand dollars. However, you can use our Just Get It Done program, which would bring that down to half, so 500. That is well within the uh, reachability range of the average person. And then if you take that and you get a credit for your trade-in, why is your army not automatically painted? And those armies tend to get painted more quickly because, of course, I usually have more artists that can do the lower levels of painting than I have artists who are masters. So yeah, that's, that's one thought. Oh, are we ready to go? Oh yeah. Okay, good. We're rolling for first. Oh yeah. First We're going first. Four. Three. I'll take it. Okay, let me see what I got going on here. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and do getting paid and okay. get two things, two command points, or combat points, rather. Yeah. Ooh, I definitely want that. Oh, that's actually really good, too. <gasps> oh my gosh, they're all so good. Okay, I'm going to pay two combat points to play Upgrade to Holy Blade 2. That's my basic attack. Yeah, Cherubim. And now I think we are going to start in on it. Okay, right. here's my roll. Uh, all all right. right. Would you look at that? Well, wait a minute. No, a, a whole lot of nothing is what you're saying. What One, I'm saying three, is four. Cherubin. Oh, cherubin. Okay. Gain flight and holy presence. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. I think that's a good opener. Okay. So I'm playing. You know, we're going to give you some close-ups on these things. In fact, yeah. Let's just do that now. Let's. For fun. And by the way, you may hear some kid cartoon noises. In the back. All right, let's go on to Jonah's guy, who is the yes. artificer. My so Jonah's going to narrate All right. his turn. So oh, uh, hold on. I got Holy Presence, sure did. which deals damage to my opponent, and Flight, right? Yeah, you already Oh, I did. Okay, you're up. Yep. All right, so draw. Gain one CP. I'm going to play... Oop, going to play... Well, actually, sorry, I forgot during my upkeep, I gained a set, which is used to, oh, get this, pay to make a bot. It's my uh, guy's a shock guy. bot? Oh, yeah. I don't like that guy. Pay one to... Oh, by the way, Jonah took me to the cleaners last game. This game is, like, it's really close every time. Pretty nuts, though. You start out with 50... 50 health, yeah. 50 health. Yeah. And usually, by the time the other person's at zero... You're the person the, that's winning is like at 15 or You're less. in like the single digits. It's yeah, like it's always digits. like pretty close. Okay, so I'm going to play double up to draw two. I don't like that. Yes. I'll allow it though. You should not. I'll allow you to do it. Okay. 
Oh, uh, if you're bored in a game or you're losing or whatever, you can start allowing your opponent to do things. I'll allow it. Yeah, you just start allowing him mm. to do things. Don't do this if your opponent is like a little touchy about it. You know, it's got it's got to be in good fun. Does it resolve? Mm. What are you talking about? It resolves. Like yeah, whatever. Okay. <laughs> Let's go into the roll phase. I'm ready. Okay. So, deck time. Full paw. Three, four, five, six. Oh, that's nice. Uh -huh. uh, this is a combination of magic and Yahtzee. By the way. Yeah, it's pretty. And it's cool. That I gotta tell you, they balance the game really well. This company them. seems to be competent. Okay. Do they do Kickstarters for all their stuff? Yeah. I gotta tell you, I'm not a fan of Kickstarter. Uh, Kickstarter boned the operation. For you. Like a regular company that actually produces capital and makes something good that people might want, mm. they just they can't operate anymore. Yeah. I can't remember what the company is, but there's a company that went down because of it. Like they didn't adapt to the Kickstarter thing. Let's see. I'd like to run a Kickstarter. Successfully. Like seriously, like a Kickstarter that was like a hundred bucks for something. Just to say that I did it. Yeah, okay. I wonder what we could make. What would people want, even, for the Kickstarter? Oh, keep doing your turn. Yeah. Let's reroll uh, these again. What are you looking yeah. for? Look for sixes. Are you going to do stupid things? Oh, you better not. Are you going to whatever's wild at me? Six it. Change okay. this to a six. Okay. Oh, uh, you didn't. I'm gonna play. So if you get all sixes you for Yahtzee. your thing, you yeah. get an ultimate. I'm gonna play Tibbet. Okay. And switch this to a six. Dang it! That's so lame, John. Is there anything you'd like to do? No, I can't do. I have no dice manipulation. Okay. Here we go. I'm gonna gain two synth, inflict one nanite. Yep. And uh, activate two different bots. I only have the one. So that'll be 13 damage. Okay, don't you have to spend synth to no, This uh, special ability lets me ignore the normal activation requirements. Oh, so if you just have the bot, all your bots can just go? Yeah. So Two you said 13 damage? 13 Daddy, damage. All right, fly or die. No defense. Yeah, I can, I can put. Daddy, I there's no defense. You want me to put some glitter on your thing? It's like a square and a circle. A square and a circle. Here it comes. Whoops. Look at it go. It's not going. Here we go. It's Circle. And a square. Okay, and then here comes a square. Okay, so yeah, check out our training program. You start by just sending me your list of stuff. I make offers, so I'll put at least a couple different things on the table. Uh, for example, the best credit you get is called a matched service credit, which is usually pretty high. And it just so if your match service credit is 500, it means you can take a thousand dollar project, spend 500 of the credit, and then but you have to match it with actual money. Uh, but there I do have straight up credits and even cash, but you got to be pretty desperate to take my money offer, which is usually super low. <clears throat> so, but people with garages full of stuff and they're sick of looking at it, yeah. and their significant others like get rid of the stuff. Okay, so uh, fly or die. Here so so Sorry it can't that. be prevented. Oh, it can't. Dang it. Yeah. All right, so I go down to 37. Jonah, I don't like this. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm going to give Jonah extra chores because of this. No, I'm joking. Am I up? Yes, you're up. Okay, take one from Holy Presence, please. I'll yeah. Draw a card. And, oh, by the way, if you're in a card drawing game and you have to remember something to do, Put something on top of your deck. Yeah. That will remind you to do it. Oh no! All right, here we go. I'm going to spend two. I'm going to do Holy Blade three. Do you want to put the camera on you? No. Yeah. Let's. Uh, no, Audrey, don't mess with my stuff, please. Oh. I've got. I've got the little cherub. Actually, okay. Here we go. So here's my. In fact, let me, I'm going to move this over here so you can kind of see. Yeah. This mat is from Twilight Imperium, in case you were wondering. There we go. Seraph is, it's, she's an interesting one. She's a bit of a stranglehold creature. Like, she just basically used the, uses the flight. 
The flight is the big yeah. gimmick. Where you prevent case. all damage yeah. by just like whooping away. Depends on my roll. Where I, on the other hand, just deal a bunch of damage. Uh, yeah, something like that. So, Holy Blade 3 is... Nice. Hey, there it is! Nice. Yahtzee! Alright, uh, what? Uh, is it four? Oh, so four of a kind. Yeah. yeah, so you get blinding light. That's on the numbers. What is it? Four of a kind? You need the same number. Oh, I thought it was just four of the same no, symbol. Alright, so I didn't get that. Oh, so but you do have one more reroll. So you can reroll these to try to get two. Yeah, but then I can also break up my stupid thing. Yeah. So, so you could go but if I get that or uh, a wing or a pendant, mm. then I have other things. So I'll go ahead and try for you. Looking for a two or a wing or a pendant. Hey. There you go. So, so there's your blind. Still max light. damage and blind light. Okay, take nine normal. Nine normal damage. Oof. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's, let's see what we can get. Shasha. I'm going to play better D. Try and reroll some of these to get more synth. So it's two. Ooh, I'm gonna keep that actually. Three, four, five rerolls. All right. Okay. So I'm gonna inflict you with two nanite. Oh no, that's so many nanites. Yeah, and I'm gonna get two synth. Oh no, I don't like all so these nanites. That was my defense. Uh, so my turn. <clears throat> How much did you take? Oh yes, I that's a thing. I take nine of it. I have no actual defense. Uh, I'm only three down. I just... Well, the thing is, Jonah is good at games. And a lot of times when you're playing a game, it's like, oh, it just seems like it was bad luck. No. No, it's not. Especially 40k. Yeah. I have come to the conclusion <laughs> that, that because of all the dice you roll, and because of the ameliorations to luck, hmm. meaning strategy... Uh, squitter, stratagems. Stratagems, but also command hmm. points yeah. that allow re-rolls. Yeah. So you can't say, oh, just because I rolled this one dice badly this one time. No, every single phase, five times during the game, ten times during the game, you can be re-rolling all those. So my point is, uh, really, it's made Warhammer 40k more and more like chess. Mm -hmm. Which at highly competitive levels means you've kind of lost the game by the time you set up. And highly competitive players, they already see it. Yeah. They see how they're just going to wipe you out. And uh, my very first game of 40K was like that. I played against an experienced player. I didn't know what I was doing. And it just seemed like everything was in his favor. Okay. No, he just, you know, mowed my Howling Banshees because I set up the Howling Banshees against his Lehman Russ. I was like, you know what? I'm going to deal, deal with that Lehman Russ with my Howling Banshees. No, no, Sean, you're not. They're going to get gunned down. So uh, my first game is a little glibly. Oh, go, go ahead. I, I'm sorry, Joe. My first game. What? Uh, a 40K? Daddy, yes, a 40K. Yeah. What is it, honey? Daddy, I need a chair. You need a chair? No, 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 no. No, you use the regular chairs. You're being a silly goose if you think you get these chairs. So my first game of 40K was... Uh, him mediating it between Griffin and I, and uh, the one thing I remember about that was my Archon had like some husk blade or something. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you killed And his... I killed his Turvagon, I think it was? Yeah. Big old know. snaky Tyramid yeah. boy. You just needed trigon. Like a six. It was a Trigon. Yeah. yeah it was pretty Got him in melee range, and my tiny little dude killed his big, big boy, and then uh, he didn't like that. Yeah. And anyway. That's what I remember. All right. Cool. Okay. Yeah, let's hear about your guys' first game. I'm going to... Yeah. Comment down below your experience with your first game. Of okay, we're going we're gonna to turn this off. Uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. Yeah. A little vignette of our lives.